Hello, my name is Gregory Moses. I'll be your professor for this course. Um, the main purpose of this video is just to put a face and a voice to my name. I know that online learning can seem very remote, like as if your professor is just a ghost who you can't interact with, and I don't want you to think of me like that. I want you to feel free to ask me if you ever need help. Um, having said that, I will also take a moment to show you around Canvas. I This shouldn't take long. I hope it's mostly pretty self-explanatory. But here we are in the home menu. Um, you see to your left these links, announcements, grades, syllabus, and so forth. On the right, you see a to-do list. Um, these are your um, most imminent due dates. So I'll just go through this again, I hope pretty quickly. Announcements is where the announcements live. In general, there is one announcement every week, just summarizing what's going on. Grades are where your grades live. So the grade book. The syllabus. What Canvas calls the syllabus is really more of a schedule. You can see a complete list of all the due dates, but you can also find the syllabus. So grading information, late work policy, um, academic accommodations for students with disabilities, all that good stuff is in the syllabus here. And then the modules where you'll be spending most of your time. So we start with a quick list, or not list, a quick explanation of how to get the textbook, um, if anybody had questions about that. And then we just dive right in. And everything is unlocked. Um, in theory, you could finish the class in a week, but I do not recommend that, to be clear. Um, so I have the material broken down by week. Um, so you'll see in week one, we've got section 1.1 .1 up to section section 1.4. So a busy week one, but that can't be helped. I'm going to say this now, covering all of the material of an applied calculus class in an eight-week summer session does require that we keep uh, a pretty brisk pace. So I'm um, picking one of these sections and taking a closer look, you'll see that I have section 1.1, for example, broken into parts. So there's a brief introduction where I talk about what we'll learn in this section, what our learning outcomes are. Then publisher material, um, this isn't ever very exciting. I mean, in the sense that I'm basically just telling you what textbook section to read. Um, but I also um, select a few videos that I think are particularly interesting or particularly valuable, and I set those aside and I ask you to watch them especially. And there's a quick guide to watching these videos. Um, you'll find them in the online textbook. Then there's supplemental learning material. 
So this includes creative commons videos, either from Khan Academy or most commonly from mathispowerforyou.com. And then written notes. Um, these written notes are not intended to replace the textbook, to be clear. They're intended to supplement it. But I did go through the textbook and try to pick out the material that seems to know the most important and isolate it in PowerPoint notes for you. And then once you um, think you have a handle on the material, you take a quiz. And these quizzes, um, open books, open notes, no time limit. You can retake them. I try to make this as non-frightening as possible. But here's section 1.1. We'll just look at this quiz. So a lot of fill in the blank, sometimes multiple choice. I'll just, obviously, you are not encouraged to enter numbers at random, but I'll complete this real quick so we can see what happens when we're ready to submit. So we do the problems. We Here we go. We click Submit. It gives you this menacing warning, but you are allowed to retake the quiz, so don't stress it too much. We'll submit it, it will auto grade. And as you might expect from a quiz that I took entirely at random, I did not do great. Um, no idea why, why Canvas thinks I spent 160 hours on this. I guess that's not really important. But I want to show you that you get feedback. You're not just told your answers are right or wrong. So you scroll down and you see the feedback. What's the right answer? How are you supposed to get the right answer? Things like that. And if you're not happy with that. You see this assignment has unlimited attempts. You can review the material and take the thing again. If we go to grades now, we see that our score has been entered. And we now see this blue dot. So suppose, you know, we finished the quiz and we closed the tab. And now we want to take it again. If you, what is this? To test a different score. Nope, that's, um, I was misleading you. You don't do anything with the blue dot. What you do is you just quick click on the quiz again, and then it says, well, here's our first attempt. Here were our answers. Here's how we did. And here's where we go to take the quiz again. So you retake quizzes via the grades tab. Now, what I will say, I mean, I try to be, you know, generous with this quiz policy. Quizzes aren't everything. There are tests and there are final exams. Um, the tests are taken the same way as the quizzes, but the tests can only be taken once. So that's just something for you to be aware of.
Um, we saw that you can get to the quizzes via the modules. There's also a direct link. If you press the quizzes tab, here are all of the quizzes. Here are all of the tests. Here's the final exam. So with all that said, I believe you're now ready to dive in. Um, again, I would probably start by looking at the syllabus. And once you've done that, you can click modules and go. And again, if you ever have any questions or difficulties, you know, you don't understand the material, you took a quiz and something's marked wrong and you think you were right and there's an error in the quiz, anything like that, um, just shoot me an email. My email address is in the syllabus. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I might be traveling a little at the um, beginning of July, but I do check my emails every day. Um, good luck, and I hope you enjoy this class.